Hello, my name is Dan Byrne. I'm a stone cutter, stone mason that's just come through the apprenticeship program within the OPW. As part of that, we learned all the skills of cutting and building, but along the way, we also learned skills around conservation of stone, and that's one of the processes I'll be showing you today. So, the purpose of this is when we have cracks that have developed in stone, we generally wouldn't be using it on random rubble like this, but uh, it'd be more used to protect uh, carved pieces or ornate stone. Uh, the problem is with little cracks like this, the water gets in, the frost comes, it opens the crack a little, opens the crack a little, this continues, and all of a sudden this whole face can come off and you've weakened stone. And if this is on an important carved piece, you've lost, you might lose a nose, or you might lose some carved details off an archway or the like. Uh, what we use to this, a lot of people call it a resin injection, but it's actually a PVA injection that we use. And essentially what we do is, we have our PVA, and we have this uh, ethanol, this, which is essentially like uh, vinegar. Uh, and we'll mix these, we'll dissolve the PVA. It's like the PVA you use to seal any kind of plaster work at home or anything like that. So we mix it at a 5 to 10 percent depending on the size of the cracks we're going to be working with. Uh, so it will be dissolved into these will be dissolved into this. Uh, this is one of the area. So the, when we're using any chemicals like this it's important to use our goggles and our uh, gloves. So I'll just put these on there. So to get our mixture into the actual cracks, we'll be using a syringe, it's just a normal medical syringe. You know, syringe about it. We just have to be careful of sharks, of course, when we're using this. So take it up into the syringe. Now, the way this works is the vinegar like chemical is used with the capillary reaction to get the PVA into the crack. That will actually then evaporate away and we'll be left with a seal of PVA within the crack. And this is what seals the crack and stops the water and down the line the frost from getting in. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do with the process then. 